room. So it's like, as the time goes on, when we went to the crash site, not the crash site, but we went to where the car was at. I, um, a gentleman was there and he just kept talking. So after a while, I just like asked him, can you just give me and my wife a little bit of, of, of privacy? But the one thing he said that made the most sense, because he talked for about a half an hour just about everything. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, yo, I'm just trying to process what's going on and you just talking, but he didn't mean any harm. He was just trying to be comforting to me and my wife and our time and age. But the one thing he said, he said, you could be the voice as to, as, as to why another young kid or another adult doesn't go through this, doesn't follow through with a, a, a suicide attempt or taking their own life. And I've posted some videos of me talking, whether it was on my YouTube channel or it's been here. I haven't really talked that much on like Instagram or nothing like that. But I've seen the comments, you know, and, and people, my heart will pound even fat harder when somebody says to me, after seeing what y'all go through, what y'all going through, as a person that has suicide thoughts, you guys have stopped me from wanting to commit suicide. So, and I've seen this a lot in the last seven days. So to be able to reach somebody and have them rethink about the destruction that it leaves behind, then my son's death doesn't go in vain. My son's death doesn't go in vain. And I wanna be a suicide prevention advocate. Do I know anybody that can get me in these schools? No, I don't. No, I don't, not at the moment. But that ain't gonna stop me from trying or every once a week talking on this little segment that me and my wife call kind of thing that we're gonna do. I don't wanna put the name out there yet, but I, wh whether she talks with me or not, I have this segment that I wanna do once a week and it's about like suicide prevention, you know, depression, right? Mental illness, the things that that my son battled because he battled all three. For a long time, he fought as hard as he could. As hard as he could. He fought and fought and fought. I guess last week, at about 10.30 or so. He threw in the towel. And couldn't fight no more. And it left us in shambles. So some of the hardest things I've ever had to do I had to do them within the last seven days of my life just now, right? And one of them is, is, is to, I've seen, I've lost close friends. Like I said, I lost my parents and that was the toughest of them all, losing my parents. You know, being at services for them, that, that, that by far was the hardest thing I had experienced. But losing a child Surpassed that by mountains. Surpassed it by mountains, like. And another thing that has been ex was extremely tough to do as well 
was to tell my kids, right? We get upstairs after we find out all this is going on. We get to the house and Christian's there. And he comes outside and he's joking and playing around. I didn't want my wife to just, like say it right then and there. Cause I'm like, yo, I still got the baby in my hand. I probably had a whatever else in the other hand. And I was like, yo, don't, not right now. Don't, don't, don't say that right now. And we got upstairs. And we like sit down and we had the kids sit down as well. And he seen, he seen that look. He seen that look. He seen how the, the momentum changed in the room. He seen that. And it's to, 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 before we could even say the words, he knew it. And I'll never get that out of my head. He actually knew it. Before we could say the words to him, he knew it. Looks like, like I said, the, the hardest things I've had to endure been in the last seven days. I, I was in that service. I've never even been in a service like that where it was just me and my wife and my, my daughter. I told my wife, how, the, how am I supposed to leave the room leave my child here. How else to leave my child here? How else to leave my child here? like I'm stuck almost in that moment. Oh yeah, I'm hurt. It's eight time it was old. I've never experienced nothing like this. Like, I, I, I said I lost friends. My parents shook me to my core, losing them. To bury a child, your own child? I wouldn't wish that on nobody. I would never make fun of somebody going through that. That's the kind of heartless world we live in. Try to tell her real quick that I'm live. That's the hardest thing. It's only been a week. Today been a week. You know, and Byron asked me, like, couldn't, couldn't we, Dad, couldn't we save him? That's coming from the mouth of a six-year-old. Dad, call me say evil. I didn't even know what to tell him. I didn't even know what to tell him. The other day, my wife's live. Blake said to my wife, hey, can't we just bring Cyrus back alive? I didn't even, I didn't even know what to say to him. These are five and six year olds who look up, honor and cherish their big bro. You know what I'm saying? They honor their bro.
part of me died. Not even a spike. A part of me did die. Last week. Part of me died when mom died. You know what I mean? Part of me died when my, my, my wife's father, when my father-in-law died. Like, I'm just taking so many lumps and bruises. And, but walking out of a that funeral home, part of me died with him. And I haven't really been able to, to bounce back. I haven't. I know, like, you know what I mean? Because I've been through this before, so I know the stages of anger and grieving and, and all of it. It's like I got anger, so much anger built up inside of me. So much anger pinned inside of me right now. So much of it. But I know, man, I know the enemy is trying to take, take us out, you know? I know the enemy is, he loves to steal, kill, and destroy. And I know that. I'm so much hurt. So, if you watching this video and you deal with mental illness, this is the, the, the aftermath. So when you see me and you see my family, that's what you're gonna do to your family. That's what you're gonna do to your family. You're gonna lead them with a whole bunch of question marks, I want to hurt a whole bunch of chaos, a whole bunch of confusion.